Meghan Markle, 39, and Prince Harry, 36, have been advised to notice how the public reacts to their speeches and stand back a bit. Angela Epstein explained the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are in a very entitled position and can be viewed as hypocritical. Speaking on The Jeremy Vine Show, Ms. Epstein said, Everything that Harry and Meghan do is coming from a good place. They want to make the world better, are they doing it in the right way? Possibly not. Do we entirely give them some kind of credibility for the stance they take? Not entirely sure. The thing is it's all about swapping sides when it suits and is the mighty dollar more powerful than heartfelt policies. I think sometimes with Meghan and Harry they need to just sort of stand back a bit and take a view on the way they're being perceived and the things that they say. They are in a very entitled position, they have moved away from the royal family. There is a lot of ill feeling about the way the breakup was carried out and this was a marvellous opportunity to say aren't you being a bit hypocritical. It comes as Harry and Meghan's Archwell Foundation said on Tuesday it has entered into a multi-year partnership with consumer goods company Procter & Gamble aimed at building more compassionate communities. The partnership would focus on gender equality, creating inclusive online spaces and resilience and impact through sport, the non-profit group said in a statement. It did not offer financial details. The royal couple have been engaging in partnerships for social work. Archwell said in December it was partnering with the World Central Kitchen and its celebrity chef to feed the hungry in disaster-stricken areas around the world. The couple, who now live in California after they left Britain and stepped away from their royal duties last year, asked for vaccine donations earlier this month to help provide COVID-19 vaccines to the world's most vulnerable. Separately, Harry and Meghan have also previously signed deals to deliver programming to Netflix Inc. and produce and host podcasts for Spotify.